Hi, my name is Hal Gumbert with Camp Software, and I would like to show you FM Clips. FM Clips is a tool that we use when we develop FileMaker databases to store and retrieve uh, little clips that we use over and over again, such as script steps, layout objects, fields, and it does a little bit more than that, as we'll show you. Uh, you can get more information from our website, campsoftware.com, or you could just go to fmclips.com to jump straight to the page. FM Cl Clips uses a product from J Dracoventions. Uh, if you go to their website, dracoventions.com. Um, also, when you're here, be sure to check out the developer assistant. It's amazing. It saved us hours and hours of work. But if you scroll down uh, towards the bottom, you'll see some information about the Clipboard Explorer. So you'll want to click learn more and then uh, download the plugin and install the plugin for FM Clips to work. And the uh, Clipboard Explorer is free. So we'll close this and what you're seeing on the left hand side is a is FM Clips. On the right hand side you're seeing an empty example, example database. It doesn't really have anything in it yet. So we can do really neat things. For instance, how many times have you gone into a FileMaker database to do a find? and you've had to create all the set script steps one by one. Well here you can just choose copy, come over to your database, create a new script, and paste. You've got all those items right there. So within one copy paste I was able to grab those steps. I knew exactly where they were. I didn't have to go back to a project um, that I you know, didn't exactly know uh, where to find that code. I could just go straight to FM Clips and grab it. And this is true for just about anything that you use over and over. We use a lot of looping. So if I wanted to loop records, I can click uh, copy. And it's asking me uh, to replace some values. We have a keyword in our script for thing. So I could come here and change thing to contact, choose OK. And what it did is a substitute on my code. So now I can paste it. And anywhere that this, the script steps previously said thing now says contact. So I can actually uh, embed special keywords within the clips and have those be substituted on the fly. Those are very easy to define. If I come over to and click the more button for this item, uh, we can see the clip here. We've done a little bit of work um, thanks to Peter Vinogradov. He had a really great idea of making the text to be um, different colors, like bringing out the most important bits. So here you can see the word thing, the word thing, the word thing. It's throughout the script. And we've added these find, three sets of find replace. And it'll bring up a custom dialog if the find uh, field is not empty and ask you to replace that item. We'll go into the other options later. But if you just have the word thing here, it'll ask you what you want to replace it with. So that's what that does. So the other thing we do a lot is uh, looping through variables and use progress bars. So I'm going to get um, a loop uh, variable with progress bar. I'll hit copy. I'll, again, I'll change this back to contact. I'll come over and paste this in. And this method is using um, uh, uh, something from Hansa from 2 for You Software. He has a really great progress bar that uses conditional formatting. So I'm just going to save this script and then close up scripts and go to the layout. So now I need to show the progress bar. So rather than recreate that item over and over and over, I've actually stored a, a progress bar that's 101 pixels by 26. So I'll choose copy, go to layout mode, paste that right on the layout, go to browse. So now I can make one change to the script. I have to tell it how many times I want it to run. So I'm gonna say run it for five times in the loop. And then as it runs, I'm going to tell it to pause the loop for one second. So now I'll run the script and I'll get a progress bar that advance, advances for every item. If this was looping through 100,000 contacts, it would work perfectly for that to let the user know how far along that was. So we also have some other um, powerful features that I breezed over earlier and I can go into those examples. For instance, if you wanted to do um, create a many, many, many fields. So I have an example here called fields with repeat. If I go into more, I can explain these items. So what I have here is a clip for a field. And this happens to be for a global field. 
and that field that I created initially was called options one. So what I did in the uh, find replace area is I said set options one and replace it with something else. So this could be name or whatever I want the new field to be created. And over to the right what we have is an index tag and which defines where the, the, the number will go, the, the index, what the next index will be, what to pad it with. So if I wanted this to be nine characters padded with zeros, I could set this to be nine and I'll get nine characters padded with that. And whatever number the next number is, it will fill that out. So if I typed in 39, I'll get 39. So if I hit one and then do my pad of three, I can then say, copy this to the clipboard it says how many times do I want to repeat it that's triggered by the, this check mark and I will say 20 I'll say OK and it says what do I want the next index to be so I want it to start off with a 1 I'll click OK what I, this gives, shows me what the uh, new field will be called the first one I'll click OK it ran through and made those fields for me and if I come here I can paste those in and I've got them got all the fields, all 20 fields created in just a few seconds. Now that I have these fields created, I can commit this, come back, and then it stored the next index. So I can come back and get some more. So I'll say copy to clipboard. So this time I want 10. It asks what the next index should be. I'll click OK. I'll keep the same names. Come back to the database and paste, I've got more fields. So just like that, I can generate fields as I need. This is an overly simplistic example, but having the ability to have three different find replace values with three different indices really gives you a lot of power. So I'll go back to the list. So just like that, you can do just about anything you need with your clips. Copy them from FileMaker, store them in here. You can keep uh, custom functions in here, script steps, layout objects, just about anything that you can copy paste in FileMaker. Thanks and let us know what you think.